We've all heard the saying before, just rest it and it'll heal faster. But is that really true? So we're actually going to look at the research and the science of whether or not resting or exercising an injury or a healing injury is going to help it out. This is uh, pretty much well documented and particularly for the layperson, you may be surprised. I'm Brad. I'm Mike. And behind the scenes, we have Bob. And together, we are the most famous physical therapy team on the internet. Wow. In our opinion, of course. All right. <laughs> Rest versus active recovery. Let's look at the first study and what they came up with. So the study is called Price Needs Updating. Should we call the police. A lot of acronyms there. So PRICE is the old acronym we used to know, and POLICE is a new one they made up. What does it stand for, Brad? Well, in regards to after an injury, PRICE means you protect it. In other words, you don't do anything with it. Let it still rest it. Put some cold on it. Ice compress would be just, you know, some ace wrap to keep the swelling down. And then elevation. Elevation. So the fluid, the swelling will actually go proximal and get back into the system. Now, what they did is with police, it's still protection, like we said. And then O stands for optimal loading for police. Now, optimal loading means partial weight bearing, putting some weight through something. Say you had a knee surgery typically the next day they're having you up and walking right. maybe with a walker but you are doing something you're not resting and doing nothing the rest of the acronym is still the same ice compression and elevation right and if it's a shoulder you may be actually lifting that shoulder up within a couple of days versus being in a sling for two or three weeks so this study looked at controlled movement of soft tissue in injuries like muscle strains and what they found is moving it actually improves blood flow to the area versus resting it. Now we know blood flow carries your nutrients essentially throughout your body. Mm -hmm. So the more blood flow you can get to the area, more nutrients, faster recovery time. Right. So this is often called active recovery, but this is where a therapist involved or someone knowledgeable on how to uh, progress your activity without doing too much too soon and actually re-tearing some of the tissue and having a setback. So it's really critical that we move in a progressive uh, manner that is appropriate for the injury. Now, another study called activity versus rest in the treatment of bone, soft tissue, and joint injuries looked at this as well. And what they found is a controlled early movements like Brad was suggesting actually speeds up your recovery while resting too much actually delays it. That's right. And again, years ago, the whole idea was bed rest, bed rest, keep, keep it protected for four to six weeks and then get it moving. What happens is the tissues tighten up. Say you have your arm in a sling, you take the sling off after four to six weeks, things are healed, but they're also very tight. Then you've got to break all that tightness up and can cause problems and set you back in the long run, actually. Now this could relate to any injury, whether it is bone, muscle, or a tendon. Now we do want to be precautious. If you had a major injury and you had surgery, your surgeon is going to give you a protocol to follow that is typically what you want to do oftentimes this has some form of active recovery it just be be very slow in comparison to something like say just a sprained ankle there you go and again weight bearing if it's something where you're putting weight on it you do want to put some weight on it but not too much uh, again if you're the lay person you may want to seek out a therapist or a trainer, someone who knows how to appropriately progress your uh, intensity. So I think we can say the myth is debunked in this video. Active recovery is better than complete rest and doing nothing. That's right. All right. Very good. Good luck with your recovery. Be careful with it. Treat it appropriately. And I think you'll do just fine getting back to your old self and maybe even better. If you want to check out another video on how to recover from a specific injury after oh. bicep tendon, and surgery. Boy, you picked a real specific one here. Well, that's right. It's actually a good video. Bob's in that one. We're talking about soft tissue, not a bone fracture, but how to get the bicep uh, tendon actually back in gear so you can do whatever you want. Throwing a baseball, throwing a javelin, perhaps. Not many people do javelins, so. Throwing a plate at your spouse, whatever. Okay. Yes. And look at that. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to us and we'll make you very happy individuals. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Have a good day. Bob and Brad, the two 
most famous physical therapist on the internet.